Hi guys, I store things in an S3 bucket, like files and videos and pictures and all that sort of stuff. And I find it immensely useful. It's a huge part of my workflow. Now, you're probably thinking, I, I don't want to use AWS, Kai. I'm a suckless dude. Well, you can use FTP, SFTP, and upload your files to your own web server. I used to do that from, for many a year, but I just find AWS service pretty good. So I'm, you know, they also do the uh, SSL and all that stuff. You could do that with Caddy yourself. I've mentioned this before, I'm sure. I have a script called upload, and it basically just copies the file into year, month, day. And um, if it is an image, it compresses it or whatever. So let me just demonstrate that quickly again. I'm just uploading um, like a little web application that I would like to try. So the cool thing is that is in my clipboard and then I can just go there and then, you know, it works great. I got a nice little static site to share, huge part of my workflow. But one thing that has been missing is that I never had a way to search all my uploads and there's been like many thousands of uploads. But now I do and I've done that by just basically turning on inventory and you can see that I toggled the CSV out, output, and I'm just getting size, um, modified date, and e-tag. E-tag is a way, is, is like a, is a checksum, but they don't tell you what check, checksum they use, so it's a bit mysterious. And I'm outputting the results into another bucket, and now I can do like a search like this. I'm searching by the, um, the, uh, the hash, as I mentioned, but I could do something like that. I can search by date, obviously. So it's blazingly fast and it's a very uh, simple script. Of course, must be, otherwise it wouldn't be like less, right? <laughs> and uh, all I'm doing is fetching that uh, compressed CSV file and grepping over it. And it's part of my workflow now yeah, I love it. I'm not too sure. I have noticed the, that some I made accidentally made some uploads twice. I'm not too sure what to do about that. I guess I'm going to have to go um, write another script to, to identify them and maybe prune them. But otherwise, um, the, the S3 bucket for sharing static assets and now for searching for it is just an awesome workflow, which I, which I uh, implore you to also adopt. Please like the video. Please subscribe for more. See you guys.